What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are continuing the build, the Bronco build for SEMA. And we've got the back done pretty much now. Uh, and we're going to start moving forward. And we're going to replace these stock rock rails. Well, there's, they were stuck for the black diamond. Uh, not all models come with those, but this model did come with them. Uh, however, we are going to be trading those out for the bodyguard rock sliders. Uh, as you can tell, probably from just looking at them here compared to what's on there, uh, they are quite a bit beefier. <laughs> so we've got the two rails. A couple of mounting brackets, three for each side. Uh, but before we can get started putting those on, we got to get these old ones off of there. They're just climbing up underneath here, and it looks like we're missing a bunch of the OEM hardware. There's a screw here, and there, and there, and there, that don't have any nuts on them. The, fr the front mount has two nuts on there, but uh, they're just a how they haven't rattled off and just fallen off. It's beyond me because those were just like not even a full thread on there. So luckily those weren't the, the bigger bolts holding that on because, well, these would have fallen off. There was, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, out of six bolts, there were two, and they were both on there finger tight. Or not even finger tight, they were barely hanging on by a thread. A couple more rattles and they would have completely fallen off. So, if you have these rock rails from the factory, I would definitely take a look and make sure that your hardware is actually tightened. So that was the 10 millimeter. Turns out, doesn't look like we need a 10 millimeter anymore. And we should just be able to go to the 13 millimeter. Choose one here. Now we get the center mount. And so here on the passenger side, you can actually see how much of that stud is sticking out. Um, and that's the one that had the bolt on it. Actually, this whole side had all the bolts on and they were tight. Uh, they were torqued down pretty tight too. That's, uh, I mean, there's no way the other side was torqued to specification uh, the same as this side was because they said this side, I, the nuts got hot by by the time I got them off, because um, they were tight and they were, t you know, all the way torqued down. And you see, like this has a good few threads that were beyond where the nuts stuck out, where the other side, where the nuts were missing. I mean, if there was like two or three threads even showing through here, because it had already pulled away some. So. Yeah, definitely something you would want want to check if you got the uh, these stack rock rails. So I have the mounts laid out over here. We got front mount, center mount, and rear mount. And and hey, these are about twice the thickness of the OEM mounts. Uh, it's just going to reuse the OEM bolt up here so it is being mounted back to the body it's not a frame mount uh, slider but it, it, it's reusing the same mounting locations in the body that the stock ones were but it is beefing up those mounts a bit and they said the front mount they didn't even the stock one the front mount was just kind of built into the uh, the bar uh, this one is actually providing a mount so go ahead and put these up there. It's just the uh, 13 millimeter bolt to hold them in place. I'm just going to snug them up. I'm not going to do it too tight because I want to make sure I got some wiggle room if it's needed for getting the rest of everything up there. Alright, and so just like there was with the rear bumper, there is a couple steps 
that uh, mount on here and we got these same square holes uh, if you didn't see that video I'll put a link up in the corner as you can check that out but basically it's the same thing you have these little inserts and they just anywhere there's a square they'll pop in there and then we come back through these screws and just screw these screws in and out with, with this bumper on here and not ever have to worry about getting back behind there to hold the nut and get that off of there so it's very convenient I love that they did that so go through that and then we also have this bigger clip nuts that are going to go on here Okay, get those on there. So once this goes up, we'll have where there's a those little nuts are coming through the pinch welds earlier. We'll have those bigger bigger bolts coming through there, and it'll be it won't be resting on the pinch weld itself. It'll actually be going through the pinch weld and pulling that mount tight with this, um, and then also so it'll be pinching the pinch weld and then also being supported by the mount that's mounted up higher so it should be pretty sturdy it seems like a pretty good plan so all right so this part would definitely be easier with at least another set of hands maybe two so we're going to try to make it work I just kind of have it balanced here on this jack. Got some bolts ready to go. I'm just going to try to jack this up here. Let's see if we can't get a bolt in on the front. All right, we are bolted in, tightened up. And this thing is not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I stand on that, jump on that. It's not, <laughs> it's not doing anything. So that is definitely sturdy. But now we just have these steps to put on here. And we already got the nuts on the back, so it just grab our bolts, line them up, and tighten them down. So I'd get all these and then the back ones, and then we're done with this side. I got my helper out here with me. Uh, he helped me uh, get the other side done. Now, I've been underneath this thing. I did the whole other side in the dark with lights underneath, uh, trying to shine lights and shining lights right in my face and everything. And uh, I forgot. I forgot these rock lights underneath there. Turn those on, and that's been a huge help. Uh, it makes working under there so much easier, finding dropped screws or anything, so much easier. So that became a whole lot easier once I turned those on. Uh, took, a, took a little bit to get some of those holes lined up, but uh, we got it done. And I, these things are definitely solid. The... Uh, I know uh, body mounted rock sliders aren't everybody's favorite, but these are actually designed pretty good. They're sturdy. They're, I, these, these, here's the stock ones here. They had these pretty flimsy mounts. And like I said, the driver's side those posts, uh, none of them, there was two screws holding that on. So everything was just being held up pretty much by 
there's three and that's not a very thick metal I mean it's good enough but it wouldn't have held up to any abuse I don't think well not nearly as much abuse as these things would take these things are like tank sides so, not that I want to go try to uh, get stuck on some rocks right now and scrape them up I don't think that would go over uh, too well before the show but maybe <laughs> once he was done we can uh, actually test these things out and see how they actually hold up but like I said that would be after the show but anyway if you're curious about the bodyguard rock sliders uh, there you go the way they get mounted I think is they're they're very sturdy they're not going anywhere so uh, I have faith in them that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down works as well. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time.